delicious. Cook, serve. Delicious. Who's gonna cook, serve? Delicious. remembered that um, my desktop audio is kind of tied to the game. I've never gone in and checked to see if I can um, turn the volume down in the game. So let me see if I can do that. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, that should be better for starters. Alright. So, hi! <laughs> Here we are. We're gonna play a game. I was going to try to move this window around, but I don't know how to do that either. Weird. That's okay. I can kind of see the chat. I 
didn't change anything though. All right, here we go. Yay, I can do it, okay. All right, cool. So yeah, um, let me just make sure my yelling isn't going too bad. Okay, we're good. So, hi, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I have a camera this time. Uh, it's kind of in an odd position because I'm going to do a lot of pounding on the laptop, and I don't want the camera to move. <laughs> so this is a game. Um, it's a cooking simulator. And it is one of my most favoritest games on the planet. I don't really know why, it just is. But basically, you're like a restauranteur. Restauranteur. <laughs> um, and you can pick all these different types of foods to have in your restaurant. So like, these are the ones that I currently own. That's a good amount. But these are all the ones that, uh, I can purchase in the future. So I started playing this game when the first one came out. It was a really, not really, really long time ago, but I've been playing it off and on for a while. And, um, this version is a lot different than the original version. Um, there's this really cool thing called holding stations, which I can show you. But, um, they have side dishes for this one, and I just feel like the game mechanics work a lot better than they did before. So, if you see right here on the screen, this is my restaurant. So, another thing that you can do in this version of the game is change the scenery around. Like, you can change the walls and where the windows are. You can have a different floor, different objects and stuff. I have a tomato on the wall. <laughs> Peppers. So that's fun. You can go in and, um... change this, like, the look of everything. Um, and then they have campaign modes where you basically... All of these different things here are different restaurants that you can play. And they all have really cool designs and things to unlock. You can still make money and get recipes and you can change the co-op modes too. You unlock different co-op modes, which I haven't really played a whole lot, but um, you can do local co-op and you can also do challenges. But, um, one of the things that I wanted to work on today was, um, these campaigns. So, Chili Bowl is one that I've been working on, unlocking the gold stars for everything. So, I think I'm going to do that for a little while. So, you can see what it looks like in the Chili Bowl restaurant, because I, I really like it, actually. So you earn different things based on how bad you how, how badly you do or how well you do. <laughs> um, so the different medals earn you different rewards. Um, and you unlock different things. So right now I've gotten a bronze, and depending on how well I do, I could also unlock silver and gold for this particular challenge. Um, and this challenge right now, So like the first stage of it was to make ice creams and pie. And this stage is to have two types of ice creams and cannolis and they're more complicated. So all of these other little empty spots are, are different um, types of challenges that you can go down the line and ultimately conquer. But most of these things are pretty challenging. And I always get them really confused. I don't know why I've decided that this is the one that I want to do. Um, but ice cream for some really for some reason really throws me off. So I'm just gonna play this one for a little bit. So I'm gonna start by getting some stuff in the holding stations together. 
And it looks like those are the only options. So holding stations are great because it makes a bunch of food and then people come in and it's already prepared. So they also made it so that um, different things are on different screens. So it is complicated in that you have to go to different pages in order to complete an order. But it's also good because it could possibly keep you from screwing up. That Ice cream combination sounded absolutely atrocious. Blech. Okay. Cannoli. Vanilla. Gummies. Caramel. And sugar. So basically you just have to select the letter that corresponds with the ingredient order that you're looking for. And it is a lot harder than you'd expect. Which is why I thought this would be very funny to play. We'll see how bad I do. <laughs> so, all of those things that I just went through were chores. Waffle cone. I always, always, always screw this up. Or not always, but a lot of times. Because I just automatically will do a chocolate dip on everybody's cone. And they don't always want that. I don't know why. Why would you not want that? Another thing that really throws me off is that sometimes the um, numbers for things, the letters for things are different. So complicated. Cannoli, vanilla, chocolate chips, chocolate, sugar. Okay. Okay. I think we might survive this rush hour. Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay. And I haven't gone in to check um, to see if you can change the key mapping on this one. But you could in the other one. Oh shit. Okay. Focus. Ah! Oh, hi, Zeus. <laughs> I was just saying that I didn't think I was going to be able to make it through this one, and I was right. <laughs> this is a game that requires all of your attention. Uh Hoy
puts orange rinds on a cannoli. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I also have a tendency to put whipped cream on every ice cream order, even if they don't want it. Because who doesn't want whipped cream? <sighs> well, that's good. The only thing that I failed was a chore. Cool, I got my silver. Well, that's at least good for me. I'll take one ice cream, extra cream, hold the cream, ice cream. You don't like ice cream? I'll take one ice cream, extra cream, extra whipped cream, hold the ice cream. You like whipped cream. I get what you're saying. I know, right? Like, who doesn't want whipped cream on their ice cream? And yet, it always, there's always one, and I always miss it. Alright, I just want to go down and take a break. I love ice cream, but whipped cream is supreme. I agree. Alright, let's see what we got. We're gonna do some cannoli. There's nothing else for holding stations. That's unfortunate. Uh, holding stations just make things so much easier. Chocolate, chocolate, nuts and whipped cream. I really like the way that the chili bowl restaurant looks. I would like to have more of this aesthetic in mine. Um, but I need to unlock some more decorations. Okay, so I haven't done this yet. Sesame. Mango. Shit! See, I screwed it up already. Vanilla, gummies, caramel, sugar. Alright. Mango. Chocolate sauce. Strawberry. Almonds. Okay. Jelly fig. I'm not sure about this. Thai ice cream. Thai shaved ice. Mango. Strawberry. Mango. Almonds. Shit! Oi, okay. Okay, got that one. Shit! I officially don't like this one at all. Black sesame, mango, strawberries. Alexa, stop! 
I don't know what I said that would have made that happen. That's so weird. She's basically screwed me. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I'm gonna have to look that up. Oh, man. This is a horrible day. Praline, strawberry, bananas, and whipped cream. I can do regular ice cream, just not this tie shaved ice. It's too complicated. True story, when I first started buying food for myself, uh, my favorite dessert was berries in Cool Whip. <laughs> Cannoli, vanilla. Miraculously, I did that one correctly. Strawberries, 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 and almonds. Cool. This is really a good brain workout. Mango, mango, kiwi, almonds. I think I'm gonna get it. Just not this round. Look at that. Apparently I don't can't do bubble bubble tea sauce either. Chocolate chips. <laughs> See how complicated it is when there's so many different things to assemble? <sighs> Nine bad orders. I wonder if I have a record for bad orders. Because if I do, that would be it. <laughs> Way too much for you. So I need a break. Oh look, I unlocked some stuff. Oh yay, a fish. <laughs> That's a nice floor. Got three Discord announcements, all from ducks. <laughs> so how's your day going, Zeus? I think what I'm going to do is switch to my, my restaurant. So you have the option of having different preset menus. So this is one, this one is like my lunch dinner menu. And this one here is my breakfast menu, which I am, I adore. So I've got cinnamon rolls, oatmeal, muffins, pancakes, eggs, 
espresso, juice, and fruit salad. People absolutely love this combination. Mostly was doing wizard all day. Almost time for me to do low chart rates. Ah, yes. I'm really thrown off. I know, pancakes, exactly. This is my favorite thing that I've done so far. So I also have um, unlocked a couple other breakfast items. Donuts. Let's switch to donuts. And I can also do another type of beverage. I have horchata available. Can do that. And I have the option for three side dishes. Um, which is good, but I don't really have that many prep stations available. I have six holding stations. And one, two, three, four. So five. I like having another, like a free one open for if and when it um, starts to get really busy and my fruit salad runs low. So that I have one automatically available when it runs out. So side dishes are really cool because they basically will increase the amount of time that a person will wait to be served. So you always want to have that on hand. And although it doesn't affect the buzz of your restaurant, I believe, it still will generate more tips um, if they feel like their meal is delicious. So they don't... Side dishes don't earn you any extra income, but they will give you those two benefits. So I always have fruit salad on this map. So let's play a day here. And show you how much more enjoyable this setup is. See how much more people are like crazy about it? And I'm already out of stuff. Vey. I need to make some more stuff. Okay. So we have oatmeal and donuts. We need more muffins. One of the things that you have to do is balance all of the things at the same time, which is very challenging.
Okay. Gotta take off. Nice seeing you, Zeus. Thank you. Have fun. I am wrapped around my cord. Okay. Out of eggs. So because it's so close to closing time, I'm not going to be making any more things in the holding stations. Yeah, unless somebody comes in and asks for them. See how much easier that was? Perfect day. And I earned $540 in food and $70 in tips. It's a big difference. Do, 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 do. Buddha. Cheryl, fountain, little fancy, stripy walls, cool. So with all that hard work, I can unlock some more equipment upgrades. Hi, Mama Bean. So every time you level one of these things up, it makes it so, see it says roach spray is used around the restaurant with greater potency, decreasing the amount of roach chores. Hi, Cable. So, ladies, we have been playing this game for a little while. It looks like um, 35 minutes. And I was just showing everybody um, my restaurant because doing the challenges, there's like this campaign mode. All of these different little maps have like different things, different menus. Here, I'll show you. Oh, sushi nest, that's new. So basically, like, these are your dishes that you make. So I've already made this one here. This tofu dish that's breaded. Oh, I hate doing it. It's horrible. 
So let's try it and see what happens. It's going to be a horrible experience. Rice, sesame, carrots, mayo, wasabi, and asparagus. After placing the ingredients, roll it twice. Then cut nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Done. Okay, that one's not so bad. That's really the only options we have. Okay. Oil tofu. Three oil tofu. This is the one that I said I hate. So let's check it out. Two. Okay, so we need soy sauce. Green onion okra. It's just very complicated. Need some more sushi. See? So many steps. And the sushi is already gone, y'all. Unbelievable. Eel, Ugh. Now I'm out of rice. This music definitely doesn't help my calm. Mama Bee needs to make some soup. Yes. Or mac and cheese. Yes. <laughs> Mustard. Ginger. Okra. Cool. Soy. I think that's agadashi. Is that how you say that? And we're already out of sushi again. How are you guys doing today? What did I do wrong? Oi. Rice, carrots, shrimp, asparagus, and tuna. Roll twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, did that one. Oil and tofu. Oh, shoot. Ran out of tofu already. Cucumber, crab, 
Wasabi. Tuna. She didn't even like it. I can't wait to see what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I cannot take a moment <laughs> to look at it right now. Thank you. Jesus. Cable's just trying to get some laundry done. I tried to use my washing machine in my dryer again today and it's not working still. I did get a referral from a handyman for an appliance repair guy. <sighs> Cable says they just need more sweet potatoes. Yes, sweet potato pancakes. Yummy. Mama Bean says this is making me hungry. Yep. Cable has soup. Mama needs to make some soup or mac and cheese. Cable is doing pretty good, trying to get laundry done. Yep. Yeah. You, Mama Bean has had too much mac and cheese and needs a break. And Cables knows someone who takes mac and cheese donations. Very good. <sighs> See how unenjoyable this part of the game is? Look, I only made $107 because I'm not good at it. Turns out, sweet potatoes and apples and veggie broth make a pretty good cream soup. Interesting. So, I'm going to play for a little bit longer, but then I am making soup for dinner. I don't know if it's still good, but I have um, some acorn squash that I roasted, like, almost a week ago. I'm not sure if it's still good, but I'm going to check. But I'm soaking some black beans, so I'm basically going to make a miscellaneous savory soup with black beans and acorn squash maybe it's veggies probably cumin and um coriander and maybe some oregano or some cilantro i haven't decided yet and then maybe some carrots and some spinach but i thought that sounded like a pretty good soup what do you guys think so one thing about this game that i don't keep up with is emails I don't know why, but it's, they have this thing in here that's like crazy emails. So, internet doctor results. Your symptoms, routinely sneezing whilst emerging on the freeway. Possible causes, too much caffeine, not enough caffeine, or sneezing. Thank you for choosing us for your healthcare needs, internet doctor. Not a hypochondriac, we can fix that. So, I don't know why. I don't know why these are things. So, um, you do have special things in here that are like challenges. So, let's see if I can find one. You want soup now? Soup is great. MVP doesn't really care for soup, but... 
here's some money. I need you to hang out with me for 40 plus hours a week doing whatever I tell you to do, whether you like it or not. If you don't do exactly what I tell you to do, I'll stop giving you money. So you and your family will probably starve. Welcome to the real world. And then I got $705 for some reason. So it's important to check your emails. But they don't make any sense. Cooking tip number 713. Cooking for someone you despise but aren't ready to commit to their untimely death through poisoning? Make sure to use Jamaican jerk spice to unleash the passive-aggressive cook within. Cable says, I like it except the cilantro tastes like soap to me. It, well, so I was thinking either that or oregano, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. Can you guys see my doggo? Can you see my doggo? He's here. <laughs> What's the matter? What? Hmm? <laughs> you know, you can't really play on me while I'm playing the game. No. <laughs> yeah, you're a dork. Come sit. No, sit down. Rusty. Why? No. <laughs> this break is brought to you by Obnoxious Dog. No, you cannot have my cookies. No. Those are cookies for redeems. Please stop. Rusty? Go lay down. Come on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> Now he's going to be convinced that these are for him. Cable has redeemed 200 beans so that I might eat a cookie on stream. You cannot have my cookie. No! Rusty, get off, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, today we are eating maple cream cookies. <laughs> and Mama Bean has also redeemed a cookie. Great. Because I would like some cookies. I gotta move the microphone out of the way. Is the crunching sound too much? <laughs> so have either of you guys played this game before? So, Mama Bean, this one is very different than the other one. Um, I was telling Zeus at the beginning of the stream that um, this one takes advantage of something called holding stations. So, let me show you the food catalog. So, prep types. Holding station optional. So, basically, these are set up so that you can make something in bulk. And then, when people come in... It's either ready or ready to be assembled. It's a lot less work to an extent, um, but I feel like it just makes everything work more, much more smoother. But there's so many different types of food. And in this one, you can personalize your restaurant. And I've just been told that MVP is on her way home. So... Soup may not actually be the option for dinner after all, because it's going to take like an hour. And if she's starving, then we might just make something else. But anyway, I'm going to eat this other cookie. Mm. 
Yeah, so you can go in and change the look of things. So. Um, flooring. I know I unlocked another type of hardwood floor, so let's take a look at all the options we have now. You can always make pizza, oh yeah. So I think this is the floor that's in the Chili Bowl restaurant, which I'm, I kind of like the design for, but I want it to be like more organic and... There's the wood floor. So I do like that. And I don't think I've unlocked any more walls. That's different. I like this sort of plastery stuff. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't really like this floor. I'm going to go back to the one that I had. I think this was it. Mama Bean says, trying to get my kid to run out and get some food. I don't feel like making nothing tonight. I know the feeling. So, um... That happens to me pretty much all the time, but I don't like spending the money on getting takeout. It's part of one of it's one of my goals to like have stuff available to cook. That's really easy, but I just don't have like a hundred percent stuff, um, like that I want yet. It's hard to figure out like it's hard to add things to your repertoire. I guess is what I'm trying to say. gonna lighten this up a little bit. Ta-da! The sun has gone down, so. Much better. I mean, there's still some light outside, but it's not the same as it was before. So. I've been wanting to see how this menu does on this mode called stress, which is basically like 100% busy. So I want to try it out with this menu. And let's see what happens. Except I'm going to get rid of this juice. And espresso. Okay. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, pancakes! Oh, and then I forgot. I can't get down here. Shit. See, this is not going well. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm kind of freaking out here. Okay. We're gonna quit the day. <laughs> so I can't do that, I guess. <laughs> Uh. 
Yeah, it says it raises the prep station count to 14, the whole count, count station to 8. So, Zen mode pretty much enables you to take your time at everything. Which is nice. But I'm not sure... I'm not sure how that affects the money you can make. Let's try it. And we're gonna go ahead and put the um, other stuff back on here. So we've got donuts, muffins, eggs, oatmeal, pancakes, and cinnamon rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six holding station thingies. Okay. I like this. It's all about making the money. You know, you can't unlock more stuff if you don't have money. Have I not started muffins yet? What's the matter with me? Girl, you crazy. So, you see up at the top here that it tells you how many servings of each food that you have. Um, and then the clock next to it tells you how long those things last. So, um, I, you guys weren't here when I was talking about it, but another thing that they added um, is side dishes. And having side dishes available makes it so that people wait longer and also consider your food more delicious. Some of them do have to cook as well, so that's one reason why I like the fruit salad, because as soon as it's done, it's ready to go. Sounds about right, yeah. So I know I'm in zen mode and I don't need to hurry, but it's just like habit from playing this game so much. So that was eggs. See how much more they like it when I have the fruit salad? I like seeing all those little, like, fun exclamation faces come up. They're so happy. Fruit salad, yummy yummy. I don't remember how that song goes, but I have heard it before. Oh, yeah. Ooh, shit, that was close. I meant to press the holding station button. And I pressed the regular button. Which could have been potentially fatal. The wiggles, gotcha. So, in order to get to the holding station, you have to do tab and then the number. So, if you forget the tab button, it's... Sometimes, like, you press the wrong button. Potentially deadly. All of the people who come into the restaurants, too, they all look really, like, ugh. Like, ugh, feed me.
So yeah, I'm all thrown off today because MVP isn't here. She's working, and she usually does not work on Sundays. That's oatmeal. So her not being here makes me think that it's Monday, um, and I'm just all out of sorts. So tomorrow, I'm planning on making curry for dinner. That's Weight Watchers friendly for MVP. And um, I will probably also... Just getting a lot of apples and trees. Um, do some vegetable prep for the rest of the week. So that... Um, I have tasty things ready to go for us during the week instead of eating fast food or takeout, because we did a lot of that the past couple weeks. But I've been shopping so frugally that it really won't affect our bottom line, um, but I'd still like to do both. Done. Ah, uh, see? Cable says AFK got us, which is a lot of cool. Now I'm sad, because I made a lot less money. So, I'm going to change my mode back to standard. Or classic. Was it classic I was playing? Yes. So, what's good about this version of the game is that it shows you all these different things. Um in a lot easier way to read. Like, um, I've got some menu rot going on pretty bad, so I have to change to my other menu. So this is new. Um, I haven't really played with this one a whole lot, but um, it's really easy. Did I get fried fish? I was thinking about investing in that one. I've made a lot of purchases that I'm really not crazy about. Like this pasta is so complicated that I just, my brain will never wrap itself around being able to do that fast. And these ones are just kind of boring. The brisket sandwich and Salisbury steaks. I don't really do those. But I think this is a good one. Let's just play this one. And we'll see how much money I make this day. We've been going for an hour. I'm surprised. Gotta get those side dishes. Spring rolls. Egg rolls. Soup is very popular. But it has the potential to go very bad. Okay, I did it right. Cool. And we need some eggs going. Oops. Out of stuff already, man. Oh, and I haven't done bean burgers yet. Bean burger. Pretzels are still going. Shoot. No, don't leave. Now I'm sad.
pretzels are going. Five, seven, six. Oh, I like Rumba. All right, all right, focus, let's focus. We need some fish. Okay, need to redo the bean patties. And eggs. I might have overseasoned that. Okay, a few. Did not. Yap, yap, yap. Yippity yap. Yes. Oh, I got a present. Is it apple cider? Thank you. I do. See how much more money I made in the regular mode? My goodness. And it wasn't even a perfect day. $792 in regular sales. That's great. Guitar dude. <laughs> Little park. 
That's a nice divider. Hey, Cables, MVP is home. I don't know if you heard all the yapping. Oh my gosh. Did you want to see yourself? Yeah. There I am. <laughs> I got apple cider as a present. <laughs> I guessed because that's what happens. There's extra apple cider. Oh. And then it just sits in the refrigerator forever. And nobody drinks it. And then it gets thrown away. So, I was going to text you earlier and be like, Drink some apple cider? If there's extra, maybe you should bring it home and I'll drink it for you, you didn't guys. Have to ask. I know. I'm looking out for you. I guess so. But anyway, you guys, I've been going for about an hour and um, it really hurts to sit on the couch for this long. So, um, I think I'm going to get going. But thank you guys for coming. Um, and I will see you tomorrow in the kitchen. And I don't remember what time I said I was going to go for, but I'll just start whenever I'm ready. Sometime tomorrow afternoon. Sorry I stole her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually planning on stopping at 4.30 so that I could make dinner, but I didn't do that. So, But thank you guys for coming. Thank you, um, Cables and Mama Bean, for redeeming your beans so that I could eat cookies. I appreciate it very much. And Rusty had a great time trying to get me to not stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Thanks again, and I will see you guys tomorrow, um, where we will be in the kitchen making food for real instead of pretend. So, um, let me let me actually take a look and see if anybody else is playing anything. I actually looked before we started the stream to see if anybody else was streaming this game. Um, and it said that somebody was, but when I went there, nothing was on. So I don't know if she's just, like, like, um, what's the word? Starting? <laughs> And she hadn't actually, like, gone live yet. Let's see. Cook. Cook, serve. Delicious. Games. <laughs> it's just me. Somebody else is playing it. This might work. Yeah, it looks like this guy is playing it. So we'll we'll raid him after this ad so I can see his name again. <laughs> okay. So his name is Go Ghosts, G O A S T S, and it says Gay Man Gaming. That's the title. <laughs> Of this dream. So we're going to go raid him to share, share some cook, serve, delicious, too, love. And maybe I can actually uh, learn something from his technique. G-O-A-S-T-S. -S. So thanks again, guys, for showing up. And I will see you tomorrow in the kitchen where we will cook food for reals. And I'll probably play a game on Friday, too. But I haven't decided yet. So we'll see. Thank you, guys. See you later. Bye.